how to create a GitHub repository and push code into it. First, go to github.com and create an account. After you created an account, go again to github.com, then click on the green new button. Give your repository a name, example repository, add an optional description, my first repository, and choose if you want it to be public or private. The next step is important. In order to easily clone the repository, meaning to download it, mark add a readme file. Note the message saying this will set main as the default branch. Now click on create repository. The repository has been created and we are navigated to the new repositories page. Let's clone it. Click the green code button and then copy the URL. You can click on the copy button next to it. Open the terminal application in your computer. I'm using CMD and Windows. Navigate to where you want your repository to be cloned into. And then type git clone and paste the URL we copied earlier. Note, you need to install git on your computer. Search git in Google in order to download it. Now we'll use VS Code to open the repository we just cloned. Click on File, Open Folder, and then choose the folder matching your repository's name. Since we just created a repository, the current branch is main. You can see the current branch name at the bottom left corner. When you want to add, edit, or delete code, you should create a new branch and a matching pull request. Then, you'll merge the pull request into the main branch. It's a bad practice to push changes directly to the main branch of your repository. So, let's create a new branch. Go to the source control view, click on the three dots for more actions, branch, and then create branch. We'll call the new branch my first feature and press enter. Now the current branch is my first feature as seen at the bottom left corner. Note that this branch is local, meaning it does not exist yet in your GitHub repository. Let's add a change in an existing file, readme, my first repository. Let's also create a new file and we'll call it main.py and add some content into it. Now, let's go back to the source control view. Here we can see all of the changes we made. In order to add the changes, we need to 1. Stage the changes. Click on the plus button next to each change you want to include. 2. Commit the stage changes. Add a message to describe the code you're adding. I'll type my first commit and then click on the check mark button. 3. Now push this commit. Click on the three dots button, push and then choose OK in order to create a new matching branch in your repository in GitHub. Let's go back to GitHub. We can see now the message saying, my first feature had recent pushes, and choose compare and pull request. We are navigated to a new page to create a pull request. If, in case you don't see the message saying, my first feature had recent pushes, it's either because the push was unsuccessful, Try to check your internet connection. Or it has been some time since you pushed a commit to your new branch. You can manually create a new pull request. Go to the pull request tab, click on new pull request, click on the compare button, choose your branch from the drop down menu, and then click on create pull request. We're back at the page where we can create a new pull request for our branch. A pull request needs a title and a description in order to describe what's the goal of the new changes. Let's type for the title, add a print. And for the description, hello world. Now we'll click on create pull request. In the pull request we just created, we can see its discussion. Let's add a comment. I think that this is great. We can also see what files we are changing. Click on the Files Change tab. You can push multiple commits in one pull request. Let's go back to VS Code and make another change in the README file. Let's change the title to My First Repository. 
We'll go back to the source control view, stage the change, add a commit message, commit, and then push. If we'll go back to GitHub, we can see the new commit in our pull request, and if we'll click on the files change tab, we can also see the new code we edited. Okay, let's merge this pull request to the main branch. Go back to the conversation tab, scroll down, click on the merge pull request, and then confirm merge. It's a good practice to delete merged branches, so let's delete the branch we just merged. Click on delete branch. All right. Let's scroll up and click on the code tab. We can see the code we added to the readme file and the new main.py file we added. And that's it. If you found this video informative, please support me by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Thank you and see you next time.